This video is an introduction to your stats course as it is in Course Compass. You'll notice this page when you come into the course and you'll see as you scroll down the assignment due dates in the entire course and then if you keep scrolling down you will see an installation wizard. If you click on it this installation wizard will tell you if you've installed all of the software and the plugins that you need to install to get Course Compass to work properly. So here it says that I have installed Adobe Flash Player. I've installed Adobe Reader, that's the Acrobat Reader, that will allow you to see the PDF images. QuickTime Player and the Flash Player will both help you see all of the videos that are in the course, so it's important that you have all three of those plugins. Here is an optional test gen plugin. Again, that's optional. You probably won't need that test gen plugin unless your instructor tells you that you do need it. So going back to Course Compass, those are the announcements and I hope to embed this video in the announcements when it's done as well. And then the second link is the homework hotline. So if you click on the homework hotline, here is a place that you can go to get tutoring services for free from the publisher and they are available almost every day from 4 to 11 p.m. Central Standard Time. So you can call them up three times a day and harass them and ask Ask them any sorts of questions, statistically related questions you want. You will need to register to be able to do that. So if you go here and register with Course Compass, then you can start calling them and setting up little 15 minute tutoring sessions, asking them about textbook problems or the online homework problems. So either one of those you can ask about there. Here is a link to the syllabus. So you'll have your instructor's syllabus here, your formula card for the course, and I would recommend having a printed copy of this because it gives every single formula that you will use in the course and it also gives some little calculator help hints here too. Objectives and tasks will kind of center you on what's the purpose of this chapter. So when you click on objectives and tasks it takes you to this page and you can click on any chapter and it will give you the objectives on one side and the task on the other. Similarly for the lecture videos link, if you click on any of the chapters it will give you all of the lecture notes for that chapter and the videos for that chapter. So you can see as you scroll down there are all of the videos for the chapter and then you can click on the lecture notes for that chapter and the lecture notes will come up and you can print them off and you can use the lecture notes as you watch the video to take notes on top of the lecture notes on things that you want to highlight and remember you can note those and additions that you want to add. The grade book for the course is right here so I can see my grades right here. Now it's important to note that the default status here is this past two weeks option so so if I want to see everything, if we've been in the course for several weeks and I want to see everything, I can click on entire course to date. Here is the online homework link. This is the important part of Course Compass where all of your homework will be housed and this is where you're going to be spending an enormous amount of time. If you click on one of the homeworks, it will take you into the homework and you'll see here that I've done problem one correctly but question two I've done incorrectly. If you click on the question, it'll take you straight to that question. And this one I'm just going to simply be typing in percentages. So what percentage of people said yes definitely. I go over here. That looks like 50%. I need to answer the rest of these. I can click check answer and it will tell me that my answer is wrong. And then I can do clear all and start again. So that's how you use these. You can save your work but Course Compass also tends to automatically save things for you so I hardly ever use that item. And then over here is the mathematical palette. So when you're doing some square roots or fractions or powers, you'll need to use this palette to create your answer. And then over here on the right hand side is probably two of the most important links that you will have, very useful links in doing your online homework or in doing all of your homework really. You have a help me solve this button and the help me solve this will take you through in baby steps to how to solve the problem. And then the view and example is tremendously useful because it will give an example just like the one you have except it will do different numbers. And so it will walk you through exactly what they do to solve the problem in your work and try to understand their whole process. It does not have calculations
calculator steps in these and that's the biggest disadvantage. If you have questions about how to work a problem with a calculator, please post that to discussions and I'll show you how to work the problem with the calculator. And then here is a textbook link so you can link to the textbook in the course and it usually takes you right to the section that you're interested in and then I don't really use StatCrunch. You can print off the questions if you want as well. And up here at the top you can scroll through and jump around to different questions if you would like. Once you're done, again, the Course Compass will really just save your place. You can go off of here, it will warn you, but really it's going to save all of your answers anyway and you can go to different places in the course. And then on the online homework, you have an unlimited amount of time to be in that homework, so it's not a timed homework set. The quizzes, on the other hand, are timed. So as long as you get these homeworks done by the due date, you'll be fine. You need to score 80% on the homework before being allowed into the quizzes. Here we are on the quizzes, and you'll see these little flags, and it says you must score at least 80% on chapter one before being allowed to start the quiz and that's for your benefit more than anything else. Students who don't score at least 80% on the homework never do well on the quizzes. Uh, so for your benefit you need to do at least 80%. You'll be a lot better off if you get to 90, 95, or 100% before you go in and start working these quizzes. Here are paper homework links, solutions manual links. Again, a lot of these links are also in D2L. Here's a direct link to the electronic copy of your book, and that's really nice to have, especially for those of you who don't have the hard copy. So those of you who don't have the hard copy, the entire book that you would get is right here, and you can navigate through the book and click on different parts, different chapters within the parts. So if I open up a, a part, different chapters within the parts, different sections within the chapter or the chapter summary or the problems and just click on that to go to it. I can even print off pages from the book so if I want to print off homework pages I can. Don't print off the whole book because then you're probably spending more money than you would have if you bought the book but a few pages at a time is nice to have that option. Ebook contents you may not use but there are some things like the tools for success and some supplemental things. Here's a link to the projects for the course. Again, these are linked to in D2L as well. And you can just click on a project to see a description of how to do the project and what's expected to be turned in. Here's a link to the lecture captures. I hope that I will be able to, for my face-to-face -face class, record the entire class session with Wimba and then place the archived recordings here. That's my goal, at least. So you can look here for actual full classes you'll be able to see and hear everything I'm doing on the smart board and then here is a link to the mini tab manual this link is a data files from the CD so if you did not buy the hard copy of the textbook and you don't have that CD of the mini tab data files to start with you can download this and that will have all of your mini tab data files here is a multimedia link which is primarily for your instructors it will give PowerPoint slides Java, StatCrunch, the textbook, and videos. The videos here though, all of the stats videos are already linked in here under lecture and video. And go to any of these little red links. That's where I've stored by chapter all of the videos. And then here is an optional study plan. You don't have to use it, but if there's any area where you're really doubtful and you want more practice, you can go here. And that is Course Compass.